In this lesson, we're going to focus on solving inequalities and at the same time graphing it on a number line. So let's begin with our first example. 2x plus 3 is greater than 7. So to solve an inequality, it's the same as solving an equation. You can treat the greatest sign as if it's an equal sign. The only difference is when you have the solution, you should plot it on a number line. So let's begin by subtracting both sides by 3. These will cancel. And so 2x is greater than 7 minus 3, which is 4. Next, let's divide both sides by 2. And so we can see that x is greater than 4 divided by 2, which is 2. And now let's plot it on the number line. So here's 2. Because it's greater than but not equal to, we're going to have an open circle. And since it's greater than, we're going to shade towards the right. That is towards positive infinity. So to represent the answer using an interval notation, it's from 2 to infinity. Now let's try another example. Try this one. 1 third x plus 4 is less than or equal to 6. Feel free to pause the video and work out this example. Now let's begin by subtracting 4 from both sides. So 1 third x is less than or equal to 6 minus 4, which is 2. Next, let's get rid of the fraction, so let's multiply both sides by 3. 3 times 1 third is 1, so we're going to be left with 1x, or just x. 2 times 3 is 6, so x is less than or equal to 6. So this time we're going to have a closed circle, and because it's less than, we're going to shade towards the left. That is towards negative infinity. So to represent the answer using interval notation, it's from negative infinity to 6. But because we have a closed circle at 6, we're going to use brackets. But keep in mind, you should always have parentheses anytime you're dealing with infinity. Let's try another example. Go ahead and find the solution to this equation and then plot it on a number line. So what do you think the first thing we should do in this example? Should we divide by negative 3 or subtract by 5? What you want to do is subtract by 5 first. These will cancel. Negative 3x will be equal to or greater than negative 4 minus 5, which is negative 9. Next, we need to divide both sides by negative 3. Now here's a question for you. When you divide or multiply by a negative number, does anything special happen? And the answer is yes. When you multiply or divide by a negative number, you need to change the direction of the inequality sign. Negative 9 divided by negative 3 is positive 3. And now we can plot the solution on a number line. So x is less than or equal to 3. So we're going to have a closed circle shaded towards the left because it's less than. So the solution using interval notation is negative infinity to 3, using brackets. Here's the next one. Let's say if we have 2x minus 1 is greater than 7, or negative 3x plus 2 is equal to or greater than negative 1. Solve the equations. So let's start with the first one. Let's add 1 to both sides. So 2x is greater than 8. Next, let's divide both sides by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, so x is greater than 4. Now before we plot it on the number line, let's solve the other one. Let's subtract both sides by 2. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. Next, let's divide by negative 3. Don't forget to change the direction of the inequality sign. So this is what we have. So there's a 1. Actually, let's put 0 first. Here's 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So x is greater than 4, but not equal to 4. So we're going to have an open circle at 4 shaded towards the right. Now x is less than or equal to 1. So we're going to have a closed circle shaded towards the left since it's less than. So using interval notation, the answer is negative infinity 
to 1 using brackets union 4 to infinity and that's it let's try one more example let's say negative 12 is less than 7x minus 5 which is less than or equal to 9 find a solution so here we have a compound inequality with three sides to an equation so let's add 5 to all three sides negative 12 plus 5 is negative 7 negative 5 plus 5 is 0 9 plus 5 is 14 next let's divide each side by 7 negative 7 divided by 7 is negative 1 7 X divided by 7 is just X 14 divided by 7 is 2 so X is between negative 1 and 2 X is greater than 1 but not equal to it so we're gonna have an open circle shaded towards the right X is less than or equal to 2 so we're gonna have a closed circle shaded towards the left so it's between these two values so an interval notation is from negative infinity to 2 so you have a bracket which is associated with the closed circle and a parenthesis that is associated with the open circle.